Welcome back to Athletic Every Day, day number 321. Got some acceleration sprints here, zero to 10 meters uh, from a variety of different starting positions, followed up by a clean complex. Not particularly high volume today. I wasn't feeling the freshest coming into this workout, which is why I decided to do such short distance sprints. Uh, and also adding in the variety means that there's no pressure, you know, crazy trying to increase the time, improve the time or whatever. It's just getting uh, those good quality acceleration mechanics or at least an attempt at good quality acceleration mechanics from a variety of, you know, compromised starting positions. And these are really, really fun. I really enjoy doing these. I like sprinting from a side on because it means that those first two steps um, are going to be kind of like in the frontal slash transverse plane. There's going to be a little bit of rotational component in there as well. Um, and it just means that it's not everything in the sagittal plane, you know, just pushing forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Uh, it's nice to add a little bit of variety to sprinting like that. But yeah, the reason for 10 meter sprints is that for the first sort of 10, maybe even 20 meters, as you're accelerating, the majority of muscle actions are going to be, you know, not 100%, but majority are going to be concentric only. So, you know, just trying to add energy into the system, increase the body's speed and accelerate which means that there's not going to be that much eccentric loading of the muscles uh, in comparison to like top end speed sprinting. So it's a lot less fatiguing on the body and you can do a little bit more, you know, higher volume without getting, you can do equivalently a lot more volume without getting fatigued. Or if you want to do the same amount of fatigue for acceleration sprinting and top end speed sprinting, you could probably do a lot more volume of acceleration sprinting. Uh, anyway, moving into the cleans. Uh, I worked up to a top set of 100 kilos of a clean complex of one plus one, clean from the floor, followed up by a hang clean. Uh, really enjoy this complex, actually. Um, it's nice because it emphasizes the, uh, well, you get, a, you get the best of both. You get the pull off the floor, and then you can use that to transition into the full clean. Um, but then also you get to do it from the hang as well. And when you when you do them in combination, if you do it from the hang, it emphasizes a little bit more posterior chain involvement. You have to focus on um, the torso angle changing a lot more as you go into the triple extension. Uh, but also then when you go into the next set, I think, I don't know what it is about that neuromuscular pathway or you know the, 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 how that feels. I think the transition between those two means that when you do the full clean from the floor, um, it, I just feel like I get a little bit more of a snappy hip extension and I feel like the transition and turnover is a lot more explosive and controlled when I go from one to the other. I think both of these exercises feed into one another, hence why doing them in a complex is quite useful. Uh, so yeah, I think I worked up to maybe three to five, I think it was three or four top sets with 100 kilos. Um, I stopped, I cut it off when I felt like my form was starting to deteriorate. I was pretty fatigued at this point. Uh, memory serves. The night before this workout, did not sleep particularly well, but got the workout in anyway. The main thing I need to improve on in my clean form is just keeping the bar close in that turnover. Uh, if I am going to get to this 140 kilo clean by the end of the year, which is my primary goal with weightlifting and obviously 115 kilo snatch as well, then it's an improvement in the turnover as well as my squatting strength. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.